kind of one of those other like small detailed things that you pick up when you go back and you watch it over and you realize the moment and each moment in the situation. So when the fourth quarter starts, we get the ball. We're feeling good. We're up 14 to five. We just had that awesome drive, ran it down their throats. We feel like we can do this. We just got to get through the quarter and we go three and out with three runs. We do two, two design runs and then Colt McCoy, I know where to go and he scrambled and we punted. So we go run, 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 punt. And there's 13 minutes left in the game, and we're at Seattle at 14-5. And we're like, you're just feeling like, oh, we're just going to keep playing super conservatively and give Russell Wilson chance after chance and just never, ever try to win the game, just try to hold on for dear life. And it just doesn't seem like the recipe. You just see so many NFL teams get so conservative too early in the fourth quarter, and then they try to turn it back up. And they just can't. So we come back out. We get that three and out. We punt to them. Our defense stands up again. Gets us a huge interception. And then we come out on first down thinking, okay, here we go again. Are we going to run, 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 field goal, punt, whatever. But I love that we do take a shot downfield on first down in the fourth quarter. Um, here there's about 11 minutes left Ingram doesn't come down with it you got to make a play for your backup quarterback there you got to have that but the fact that we did that just signifies that we're here to win we're playing to win we're not gonna play scared backup quarterback be damned um, we realize that there's a lot of football left and we're not just laying down with nine minutes left in the game and try to hit them so this is another one we actually ended up after we ran this play where he tries to go up over Wagner. We ended up getting a field goal on this drive. This is when there's like 11 minutes left. We ended up getting a field goal. This was after the interception. But we took a shot. We're playing to win. We get a field goal on that drive. After our field goal, they go down and score. Their long drive that hit Chris Carson so now it's 17 to 12. We get the ball back. They kick it to us. We get it at the 25. There's like six minutes left. So what are we going to do now? Now are we going into a four-minute offense at six minutes? We come out. We still, we take another shot. We play to win. We go to Ingram again. He doesn't make the play. But still, the fact remains that I do like that call. I like that we play to win. Later on, in that drive, we ended up making a big play here to Darius Slayton. Credit to Darius Slayton. I know he didn't have a lot of opportunities in this game with Colt McCoy in there. But that was his one catch of the game. He was ready. Nice play action. Good pocket. But just the fact that you remain ready, that's a huge catch. It was a second down right there. We moved to midfield. That allowed us to get them under two minutes by the time they got the ball back. Big catch by Slayton. Didn't have an awesome day. Probably wasn't a lot of fun running deep, not getting any looks. But, you know, it's not about you. It's about us. We need, we need you to be ready. Make the plays that come to you. Don't worry about the plays that don't come to you. He was able to come down with that one big time. And then we ended up punting to them under the two-minute warning. And obviously... We got the job done. The defense stood tall, but even though our offense didn't light it up, I did appreciate Colt McCoy or not, our, our coaching staff, going out there and playing to win the game. I think that's important, regardless of what happens this season, to instill that culturally in us, which this whole season has been about, establish who we are going to be as a football team. And Joe Judge has delivered on that on everything that he's promised up to this point as far as fundamentally sound, versatile, hardworking, sound in assignments, smash mouth. Every coach says they're going to make their team all those things, play to win, but we, we actually can see that taking place on the field. And I want to win the division more than anybody. I know Washington won tonight, but more importantly than winning the division – even though I'm going to live and die with every snap, is that we have a team that 
is built on a foundation of substance that we can continue to build on. It's no, nothing fluky about our team. We have a solid foundation and we truly have a culture being established and it's something that is sustainable. And that is the main takeaway. As good as the Seattle win was, it's not about the one win. It's about we have a team that can go into Seattle with a backup quarterback and we can battle anybody for 60 minutes. And I don't think that's going anywhere. That's not fluky. That's just us being a football team that you don't want to play, a football team that's going to be prepared. I couldn't be more proud of this team. I can't believe at 5-7, and seven, I don't know if I've loved a Giants team to this level before, probably because I'm starved for a Giants team to love. But I'm just so impressed with everything we've done. I can't wait to see what happens the remainder of the season. We're playing meaningful football right now in December. I don't care if it's because of the division. I'm going to enjoy every snap. I hope you guys do too. You come along for the ride. I'm all in. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go, Giants.